<laughs> Very cool. Don't jump too much. Ah, oh, so cool. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. Hey anglers, in this video I want to show you a trip that I had recently where I had some pretty good action. I'd like to share some of that with you. Check it out. Oh, this is a big one. This is a big fish. Just saw a little bit of commotion out there on the surface and I threw my uh, threw my mulligan right on top of him and he nailed it hard. I think this is a big red. <laughs> I'm pretty much just pulling myself to him. I don't think I'm really gaining any real line on him. I'm going to loosen my drag a little bit here since he's a little bit closer. Might be a little while before I can whip him. Let's see how what he is. And this is when they start going a little bit crazy. Maybe underneath the boat. I don't think he's as big as I thought. I think he's a nice sized fish, but pretty fish. Look at the spots on him. Very cool. Nice, nice fish. One more shot. Cool. He hasn't gone airborne. There we go. Very cool. <laughs> Fighting him. And scared off some redfish over there. Fighting him. Oh. <laughs> there we go. And another crossover. <laughs> That's never a good sign whenever you uh, you have your rod on one side and the fish you're fighting is jumping on the other side of the kayak. <laughs> Pretty cool. I don't know how well I got him hooked. I haven't looked. But I did switch over. I got a 15 pound leader, but I did switch over to a 30 pound bite tippet. And this is why it's nice to have a seven foot six rod in a kayak for these crossover moments. And put a little heat on him, see if he'll uh, stay up here. No, 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 no. Stop. He got off. Oh well. That's the fun part right there is the fight and the jump. <laughs> awesome. Oh, these fish are so fun to catch. All I was doing was taking my uh, Alabama leprechaun and I literally just brought it down to a nub. He's going to come around. Where are you going? Funnest part of these things is the fight. Let's see here. Don't jump too much. Oh, so cool. I'm going to loosen my drag a little bit. <laughs> oh, that is so awesome. If you've never had a chance to get on one of these fish, these uh, juvenile tarpon, they are just a ton of fun and you don't have to have special equipment. You know, cool thing about these too is uh, you can still go fishing after you catch a couple of these things. You know, it's not like those big old 100 pounders and 200 pounders where they slap wear you out. <laughs> Very cool. Oh, uh, he's got some fight left in him. Come on. I know you're about what, buddy? <laughs> cool awesome awesome catch I'm loving it here we go very very cool love catching these fish So as you can tell, that was a pretty cool trip. And one of the things that I always get, the two questions that I always get whenever I come back from a trip like that is, what did you catch them on and where were you? So what I wanna do is I wanna show you the lures that I was using to catch the fish. And the redfish was actually caught on this one right here. This is our mulligan, uh, which is a four inch paddle tail. And this is the Fred color, which is a pink color uh, with some silver flake in it. This is a really good color in the type of water clarity that I was fishing in that day. And when it comes to the tarpon, I was actually using this lure right here which is the alabama leprechaun this is our five inch jerk shad in that green color that's got the golden red flake and uh, those were the two lures that i was using now as far as where i was fishing we actually hold that for our insiders the day that this video comes out we actually have a report in our insider group that not only shows you the video that you just saw the fish catching action but also talks about the location and also the little tips and tricks that i had to do in order to get some fish just because you might have been in the same location with 
without these little tips and tricks probably wouldn't have had the same result as I would have that day. But that's all shown to the insider in the insider report in the community. Now, when it comes to the lures that we're using, a lot of people put the emphasis on that. But to be honest with you, that is just a small part of it. The lure is important, but it's not nearly as important as knowing where the fish are going to be. I can give you the best lure, but if you're not in the right spots, you're not going to be able to catch fish. You can't catch fish in a swimming pool. You got to be where the fish are. And that's what we do here at Salt Strong. We actually teach you where to find the feeding fish. And once you find the feeding fish, everything else becomes easier. All these specialty lures that you see out there aren't going to work if you are not in the right location. So if you're not happy with the quantity or the quality of the fish that you're catching, I invite you to join us at Salt Strong in the Insider community where we will teach you how to catch more and better fish, all while saving time and money. So check us out at saltstrong.com.